Hi guys, this is Chris with another video tutorial on animation in Inkscape. This time it's about flight, making an insect fly. In this case I chose a rather weird looking fly. Um, the reason for it is I saw a lot of wing animations that just used rotation. Let me show you a sheet of that one, put the big one out. What they do is they just take a wing and rotate one clockwise, the other one counterclockwise to emulate a flight, which then looks something like the wings are moving, but it's not the kind of animation you would want to use on an insect or for that matter, a bird, bat or whatever flies with wings. They are not just rotating, they are actually going up and down. This is more like what we want to achieve. The wings are going up and down and with that slightly move the insect as well. So rather than just a rotation, it's more a deform. And we can slow that down a little bit. So here you see it in slightly slower motion. Let's look at the illustration of the fly. We have the body parts with the wing. Main thing with the wing is the pivot point is set right in the lower corner. That way when we rotate the wing, we need that for our deform after. We have the head pivot point here also set to the side. The legs have their pivot point at the very edge or top of the leg. What we want to achieve is more a motion that is unlike the rotation, a up and down of the wing. So let's start by taking the flight, copy it to a new layer, oh, wrong one, flight, arrange it to center, that's a good one, that happens when you don't click this one, treat selection as a group, because now everything gets moved to the center of the document. Okay, we can close this one. I just edit the box underneath as a constraint. The animation will take place inside this box so that when we export afterwards with the box set to invisible underneath, every PNG image will have the exact same size. We start by copying the initial frame to the next layer. We do that by pressing Control Alt V or Object, where is it? Edit, Paste in Place. We lock the layer underneath. Set the opacity down on the right layer. this one. So that way when we now start moving things like the wing, we won't just rotate him which will give us some sort of animation but not the kind of flapping that we're after. We see the layer underneath with less opacity so now instead of the rotation we do a scoop and a little bit of rotation. Accidentally moved it. Okay, and do the same thing with the wing behind. We can also tilt the head just a little bit. You can move the legs. I won't be bothering with it in this video. 
So let's take this one, select it and copy it to the next layer. Hide this one, lock that one. Okay. Same thing, we skew it, rotate it. its movement down. Again, select, copy in place. In this frame, the wings flip. We're not looking underneath, but on top of them, so turn them around, scale them up a little bit, and now we can see that they are not arranged in the proper sorting inside the layer so we raise the object to the top and do the same thing with the back wing flip it and put it to the bottom of stack okay now we just check the lay underneath to make sure that our connection point to the body is roughly where it is in scene before let go in a little bit and Got to move the head. The head continues moving, and we copy that to final layer. Okay. Now for this one, I'll rotate it back. To the initial pose, widen it, and then rotate it further down and skew it up a bit. Again, checking that the pivot point here is where it should be on <coughs> the layer prior. Same thing. with the back wing probably went a bit overboard here okay the movement of the head So we see that there's not just a rotation, but an actual flapping of the wing. Just go through them one by one. The initial frame, then we have the second one. We might just take that one and move everything up a little bit. Take the next one. Move it up a bit further and number four goes even higher and our last frame moves all the way up and we have ourselves a flying insect that hopefully looks a little bit more realistic than the just rotation of the wing. I hope you enjoyed this one. 
really simple. Go ahead if you do something like that. Move the legs a little bit. Make it go totally wild by rotating the legs, the head more. Just remember that when you do the animations like this and you output to rather small size for the game, exaggerate the animations what looks like a huge step here between the frames might be a pixel or even less in the game so test your animations in the right size you know how to just go to export file export to PNG select the area with the background set to come on there's my background want to have it visible but we set the opacity to zero so when we select elements in this case fifth frame and go to file export to PNG export selection set the size in this case I like my 512 come on go back 512 Chris what are you doing I have some problems recording this video today but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless so set the size export and do the same thing with each and every layer always remembering to select the box as well and then scale it down to your in-game size test it there to see if there is enough motion to be visible Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Just a quick one on how to do a slightly better flight animation. Bye, guys.